March 17th, 2024. To most people, that's a meaningless date, but for the Apex community, it's a day that will never be forgotten. As this was the day that Apex Legends was changed forever. <laughs> March 17th was the day of the Split 1 regional finals of ALGS. Players were competing for $1 million and it started off just like any event. The pro players were playing out of their minds, but for one person, they were playing a bit too suspiciously well. Yeah! Down here? I killed right here, but blue! What, what, what? Like blue here, here, on my ping. I knocked him there. Yep. I him. Wait. Wait, what the f- what the You're fuck? Getting don't worry about it, don't worry I'm about getting it. hacked. I'm getting hacked. But I know, I know. Sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I, I'm getting hacked. I know, but can you play? Can you play? It? Yeah, but it, I'm, it's cheating. The fuck? I know, I know, sure. I know, I know, I know. This is Jen Burton. He is considered to be the number one controller player in the world right now. And as you've just seen, a cheat menu has popped up on his screen. But if you look over to the left hand side here, you'll notice that there's a message that reads Apex Hacking Global Series by Random and Destroyer 2009. And just like that, within seconds, the internet exploded. But how did this happen? And who the hell is Destroyer 2009? Well, let's talk about it. Searching the name Destroyer 2009 will bring you to a plethora of clips of a player abusing some of the most egregious cheats I have ever seen. And then of course this player abuses these cheats and destroys entire lobbies within seconds. Some of these clips date all the way back to the 12th of December 2023, but by no means was this Destroyer's first dive into the world of hacking. Recent discoveries have uncovered an account on the very well-known cheating forum Unknown Cheats, and this account was under the name Tomoxa. Now through the work of John Hammond, Skeletal Demise and foil man, it's been proven that this account belongs to Destroyer 2009. And now I'll get to how I know that just in a tiny bit. But abusing cheats isn't exactly going to gather a lot of attention inside of a community. Destroyer decided to up his game by gifting thousands of packs to some of Apex's biggest streamers and also creating bots that follow them around and try to kill them inside of games. Now you may be wondering, well what do these seemingly isolated incidents have to do with ALGS? To which I say it matters because of who these attacks happen to. That being Imperial Hal and Jen Burton. But by no means were these the only two players that were affected by Destroyer 2009's antics, they're just the only ones who are relevant to this story. And with that in mind, this brings us to March 17th, 2024. Just before we get too far down the rabbit hole of this genuinely insane situation, I would just like to quickly ask that if you're enjoying this video, then you consider supporting the channel by becoming a channel member. For $3 a month, you'll get your name at the end of the videos and also access to some really cool emotes. And hey, you even get access to these videos early. So if you want to become a part of an elite membership, make sure you join today. Or you can just subscribe. That also helps and that's free. You can also change your mind at any time. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So as I previously mentioned, March 17th, 2024 was the day of the Split 1 Regional Finals of ALGS, which is Apex's biggest tournament. And it's safe to say that Destroyer 2009 wasn't done messing with players just yet, as he was about to unleash his biggest attack yet. Wait. Wait, what the f- what the fuck? I'm getting hacked, I'm getting hacked! But I know, I know, sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I I'm getting hacked! I know, but can you play? Can you play? Yeah, but it, I'm ch it's cheating! The fuck? I know, I know, sure. I know, I know, I know. And what? Like what? No, but is what? it fucking up your game? Yes, I can see everyone. Like I'm. You need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. I, I didn't leave the game, right? Yeah, yeah I'm game. leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bro, like what bro. the? Admins down. Nick, admins down. Nick, admins down. Tell the admins. I left. I left. Like. Admins now. Restart your game. And rejoin. Oh no, you left the map. Did you but Destroyer didn't feel like he went far enough, so he decided to do this in game four. Yeah, yeah, shoot now. I'm, I'm, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm cheating! I'm, I'm fucking shit, I got aimbot, I have aimbot! Oh no. Uh, you gotta leave the game, you gotta leave the game, bro. You back gotta out, leave bro. the game. Oh, there's North block, tick, 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 break, break it, it, break it, break it. I, I'm, I have aimbot oh, right now, I literally have aimbot. Leave the game! But if I just don't shoot? Yes, you did just see that, right? Destroyer didn't think he went far enough yet, so instead he decided to target two of Apex's most respected players. And also, just a quick side note, can we just talk about the two very different reactions that Hal and Jen Burton gave? Jen was pretty scared, you know, as you would be in that situation, but he left the game like the good sport that he is. And on the other hand, you have Hal being the gremlin he always is and just says, But if I just don't shoot? What if I just don't shoot? 
We gotta get to another building. Get to another building. While simultaneously going on to destroy two different teams with these cheats, which is somehow the funniest thing I have ever seen come out of one of these tournaments. Anyways, soon after the second attack, everything went dark. For 17 minutes, the ALGS stream displayed a B right back screen. And after it faded away, EA had made the decision. Hey everyone, Rande here. We have an official statement from EA and League Ops. So we're gonna read that to you now. Uh, due to the competitive integrity of this series being compromised, we have made the decision to postpone the NA Finals at this time. We're going to share information soon, and as we have it, we will keep you guys updated. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, we'll keep you updated on things to follow. And just like that, one kid from Belarus or Russia, it genuinely could be either at this point, the internet says one thing, Destroyer says another. Which, funnily enough, brings me on to my next point. So let's talk about it. So after the event, the internet went absolutely wild. Twitter, Reddit, gaming outlets, everywhere you looked, people were talking about this. And this is also when the biggest issue around this attack began. Immediately, people were claiming that there was an RCE vulnerability inside of Apex, which raised significant concerns over whether Apex was actually safe to play or not. This is due to the nature of RCE being an exploit in which it allows the attacker to run code on the victim's machine without much intervention from the user at all. Now, RCE is incredible incredibly serious vulnerability. As I've just explained, it requires basically no intervention from the user to happen, so it makes it incredibly difficult for you to protect yourself from. However, there was actually one major issue with this entire theory of Apex having RCE, and that was there was actually no proof that it was RCE at all. Now, I'm not just saying this because Easy anti Cheat and EA have both said that there was no RCE inside of Apex or EAC. I am saying this because there was too little time for Cyber security experts to actually investigate this case. It seems like RCE just became a throw around term on places on the internet, specifically Twitter. And this is where my personal issue comes in with all of this situation. And that is with fear mongering. The rapid response from gaming outlets calling this RCE was incredibly irresponsible because it caused a mass panic that was not at all necessary yet. From what was displayed, it just looked like two individually compromised machines. It didn't look like RCE. Now, this this isn't just a thought that I have. This is a theory that primarily came from the next person in this story. So let's talk about them. On March 19th, former Red Team specialist and current indie game developer Pirate Software got involved in the situation, and he started to investigate the Apex hacking situation on his stream. His involvement in the early stages of this fallout were incredibly important, because it was literally his job to find these types of vulnerabilities inside of games. But to summarise the nearly four hours of YouTube content that I watched in preparation for this video, he essentially believed that the ALGS attack was just a result of two individually compromised machines. But as an explanation for the other attack, primarily being the bots chasing players and the Apex packs, he believed that this was actually just a result of server-side exploitation, which is essentially when the client sends commands over to the server and the server just accepts them with no questions asked. Now this is quite a serious issue because, well, it shouldn't be happening, but as soon as somebody with malicious intentions comes along, this can be a very severe problem. But just a quick side note for any smart arses I might have in the comment section, no, server-side exploitation cannot be used in itself to explain what happened to ALGS. But after the panic of this attack and the dust had settled, people were more interested in another question, and that was, who is Destroyer 2009? And this is where John Hammond comes in. In this video by John Hammond, he uncovers the fact that Tomoxa and Destroyer 2009 were one and the same. And this becomes apparently clear when you realise that Tomoxa was making fun of pirate software for jumping to conclusions about an incoming network connection to a random IP address. But something else that John Hammond uncovered was that the very well-known cheat for Apex called Cola was actually developed by Destroyer 2009. Cola has been running its way through the Apex cheating community recently and it's been making the game borderline unplayable for everyone. So I guess we have Destroyer 2009 to thank for ruining Ranked. But now I think it's time that we start to wrap this up. So let's do that. The ALGS situation was a massively important lesson for everyone on the internet. And that lesson is, don't just repost or reiterate everything that you hear online. It causes unnecessary panic and just ends up doing a lot of damage. If this news was handled correctly and news outlets didn't just jump to conclusions about the situation and admit the fact that there was still a lot of ambiguity surrounding it, then the ALGS situation wouldn't have spiralled into this massive thing that it became. But there is two major points for me making this video. The first is directed 
presented to you, the audience. The major point that I want you guys to take away from this video is to trust but verify. This is something that was preached by pirate software, and I honestly could not agree more. And secondly, I highly recommend that if you play video games in the modern era that you learn a bit more about how to protect yourself online. And you can do that with today's sponsor, NordVPN. I am kidding. But yeah, please do make sure that you take a bit of time to just learn about small ways that you can protect yourself online because it's getting scary out here. But the second main point of this video is actually directed at EA and Respawn. I know that managing a live service game can't be easy at the best of times, but I want you to start being more transparent with your player base. This is specifically in relation to what's going on with the game, because putting out a statement where you essentially say, nah, -uh, isn't exactly acceptable and it never was. And also, please start listening to your player base. Listening and following through on the feedback that you are given by your loyal player base is incredibly vital to this game's survival. And something that you guys seem to be overlooking is the current massive spike of cheaters. You have a cheating outbreak that is worse than CS2, which is genuinely impressive. Start taking the security of your game more seriously, please. And while we're on this topic, fix your goddamn game. And with all of this in mind, this brings us to the end of the story of the darkest day in Apex history. Thank you for watching.